Paul Thomas Anderson film with Daniel Day-Lewis. I mean, it's it's a bit of a no-brainer. Action! Five on the set. For an actor, it's a paradise to be on a set, really. All the characters in the movie are great, and this is only because he creates a set which is almost like a sacred temple. It's warm and it's friendly, it's very well lit, it's very quiet, it's very concentrated, but not in a bad sense, you know, like always positive, and you always have the feeling that I think most characters, even if they came one day, had the feeling they had like a like a stage, like a friendly stage where they could just be and, and be very respected in their work. He is a director who likes to collaborate. He's not a dictator in any way. I thought, yes, he wants me because he wants to, he wants to see what I'm going to bring to it, uh, as opposed to being the sort of director that's going to say, this is how it needs to be, and you need to fulfill that for me. You know, The whole film feels like now, especially looking at it with hindsight, that um, it was this marvellous creative collaboration between all of us and all departments as well. There was wonderful work going on in the costume department and the makeup department and the hairdresser. You know, it was really, really wonderful. And all those things come together to help me as an actor find my way through to getting it right. Because of how Alma was supposed to be, you know, she was supposed to be this girl that comes out of nowhere, that knows no one, yet exists in front of everyone, you know. So he wouldn't tell me so much. He was also kind of relying on my instinct as I was relying on him saying something if there was something wrong. But as long as he didn't say anything, I knew it was good. Working with Paul was like holding someone's hand, having your eyes closed, and then moving around like this in a, in a, in a room, and you know.